Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and welcome back to the forest. Now, I admit the last episode kind of ended rather abruptly, and you're probably wondering where episode 6 or 7 is actually. Pretty sure that's what I should be up to. However, the game had crashed right at the end of that the last episode that I was actually recording, which was going to be the final episode of that mini series until the update was out. However, like I said, the game crashed right at the end when I tried to save and quit. Uh, that actually corrupted the recording, so I tried to get the audio and video footage from it uh, as, as much as I could. Uh, however, no matter what I did, trying to do anything with the video file actually crashed my computer. So, I've had to scrap the last episode, but because they have updated the game that fixes the saving mechanics, I can now start this game over for you guys and actually save the game. So, today we're going to jump in completely fresh, completely new because of the update. I don't actually have any access to any of my previous saves or anything like that. Uh, well, obviously there wouldn't be any saves. Uh, so we'll just jump right in. I am running the game, uh, as you guys know, on mostly the high settings. I just don't have uh, motion blur time because uh, I don't really like that. I did have a look at the color grading before. There's two options here. Uh, well, three if you include the default. I don't really like them. They just kind of add a little bit more brightness and uh, color to the game. But other than that, we will jump in here and let's start our adventure for the forest. If you don't know what the forest is, it is a open world first person survival horror game where you have to survive against cannibals and mutants that have been occupying the island which you currently have crashed onto, uh, but you crash at the start of the game every single time, but you crash in different places on the island so you're forced to survive against it. Now I have read a few of the hints and tips you guys have given me throughout the comments of the first uh, ser series or season where I played the game before I could save. Uh, so I now am going back into this with a little bit more knowledge than what I would have previously and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun with it. So without further ado, let's start the game. And okay, here we are. So now we are on the plane with my, I'm guessing this would be my son here traveling with me. Uh, we are going to go to Hawaii to hang out with uh, my cousins and well, oh, no, no, okay, no cousins. <laughs> uh, as you guys might know, and as I stated in the original series I did of this game, I am not one for horror games, and now that I know the cannibals or the mutants or savages will be spawning constantly without being broken, and I'll, please don't tell me I'm going to be in the middle of the island, this would be terrible. I thought I saw a house in it for like the last few frames then. Um, but yeah, I'm not one for horror games or anything like that, and now that the enemies aren't going to be broken, hello enemy guy, uh, now it's going to be keeping me on my toes, and it will be a little bit harder for me to survive than what it was previously. And you got to take my shot. I just realized he doesn't have a shadow. Uh, well, he does, like, but not at the... Uh, oh well. Bye-bye. I right, we're on the beach again. Oh, I love the beach. The beach is the best part. <laughs> um, but okay, so first things first, there are a few basic controls for anyone who hasn't played this before. I is for your inventory, which is I currently am just holding a lighter on me. Uh, B is for the book, which allow you to create, uh, say, fires, for example, uh, or shelters and uh, storage uh, housing, and all and all that other good stuff, which I think is quite nice. Um, you guys did tell me that I can catch rabbits with an actual trap. Where's that trap here? It wasn't happy birthday. It was a noose trap. There we go. I was told this can catch bunny rabbits if I, if I need to have that constant source of uh, food and whatnot. Uh, but that, that's that's nice to know. Happy birthday trap would be hilarious to set up. But uh, let's just go on and let's grab some food now. Down the bottom left, you'll notice there's a few different icons there. Uh, the one on the left, at least the bar on the left, would be my health. The one on the right is my energy, and the one in the middle is my hunger. So to replenish all of that. We will grab myself a drink first, but we'll grab myself some food, which you'll see replenishes some energy, and I've got a little bit of health there, so let's quickly just pick up some more stuff here, and hope we get some more health. I actually thought that, uh, I thought you start off with full health in this game. I guess not. Oh no, sorry, there's pills now, and there we go, so now we're up to full health, and there is some food I'm going to leave scattered around here. There's a foot also, I'm not going to worry about the foot, I don't think I can touch the foot anyways. But uh, that should be about it I've grabbed out of here. So let's grab this little axe here, which is going to be our first main tool of the game, which is going to help us uh, scavenge stuff as well. I thought there was something on fire over there. So as I said, the scavengers can... Uh, scavengers? The savages can spawn on the island. Let me see if I can hear the game. There we go. I've now got the game sound sewn up, so now I can get myself scared to hell if something bad happens to me. I didn't actually show you guys the explosives, uh, explosives last time either. 
Um, I now know how to craft quite a few things too, which is nice. Uh, is this going to eat? No, I don't want to eat it. I just want to add it. Okay, so let's grab as much as we can. Oh, I didn't mean to whack that. I meant to whack um, this over here. Uh, grab stuff out of it. And not a tennis ball. Don't want that. So the savages will come here quite quickly, and that's not exactly what I want. Uh, I want to grab you, actually. Can I grab you, please? Thank you. You're so kind. Uh, we'll collect some more stuff, and then we'll go set up camp on the coastline, which will be a little bit further away from the AI, so I should be okay to set up camp there, even though they do do patrols here and there, and I think on the coast would be one place where they patrol. Hello. You're not alive, are you? No, you're not. Good. Just just little test, you know, just kind of slap them around with an axe. They flinch, then they're alive. <laughs> if, if they don't... Well, if they flinch, they're probably going to be... Oh, this looks so pretty. Aw, I like this. You guys also told me how to make axes as well. Uh, not axes, sorry. Um, Hello? You scared the... Cra Actually, it was the music that scared me. Um, But seeing you, I admit, kind of scared me too. There's no, 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 no. Look, I don't mean to harm you. I'm going to go my merry way down to the coast, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, they tend to not always attack you straight away. They are uh, ultimately quite curious about you and what you do on the island. Uh, is it raining? Did it rain before in this game? Yeah, no, it did. Yeah, duh. That's silly of me. And look at all the seagulls. Oh, that's probably why it sounds like it's raining, because there's water right there. Um, no, no, it, it is raining. Yeah, it's, it's starting to get really foggy and really rainy. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so what we'll do now is we will set up ourselves a campfire in a second here, as well as a shelter that should give us protection for the night. And like I said, now that I save, or can save, the saving is done by sleeping in a actual bed, or in your shelter, sorry. Um, I thought I heard them for a second. There is actually some good re uh, supplies on the boat out here, if you didn't already notice, or didn't already know that, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go out there real quickly. I wonder if the uh, savages or cannibals can actually swim now, because that would be kind of... Uh, is there one underwater here? No, can I, I can't see underwater, actually, see, there is one. No, it's a turtle. Oh, it's Steve! Steve! Steve, haven't seen you for a long time! Steve! Seagull, can you not stack up on top of each other on the top of the ocean there? Okay, let's quickly grab all this stuff out there, and hopefully I can meet Steve on the uh, coastline. I guess Steve's pretty cool. You guys have met Steve before. Uh, let's go up here, quickly grab all this stuff. Hopefully you guys like the series. Like I said, now that I can save, I can play for a lot longer than I originally had intended to. Uh, well, I thought I could pick up some... Oh, feathers. Right, okay, there we go. Where's Steve? I can't... I don't know where Steve went. I thought he was going up on the coast over here. Well, this is up amongst the rocks, which tends to be where they crawl. They can actually crawl through the rocks. Uh, Steve? Steve? There's a bottle. That's not Steve. Um, no, I miss Steve. Steve normally comes up here, crawls up onto the uh, coastline, and just hangs around for a bit, and then goes back into the ocean. Oh well. No, no, Steve! Steve! I see you, Steve! Long time no see, Steve. How you been? Been good? Oh, look at him. He's just chilling. He is he's happy. He's being nice. Oh, I thought he disappeared then. When I looked away, he disappeared. Oh, Steve, you put a friend! Who's that, Steve? Is that Fred? Hey, Fred. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing around way too... Oh, there's another one. Steve, you bought your bros. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm messing around way too much because I, I actually do enjoy this game despite the horror element. So to build myself my first shelter, I'll go over here and I will make the shelter here. So I'll make the hunting shelter first, which is normally the shelter a lot of people make. They don't really worry about the temporary one. This, even though it does require very little, it is uh, the hunting shelter seems to be the better one uh, out, the, out, the all, out of all of them anyway. So we will stick you over here. Go E. There we go. And now we can just tap E and we can put in all the supplies we need. So now we just need a few more sticks and some logs, which we get from cutting down trees. And I'm just grabbing what I can from this. this I think I got, oh, I got a torch. Yes. Now, something I didn't realize about the torch was that it actually goes through um, batteries quite quickly. Which kind of sucks because I didn't realize that when I walked into the cave last time. Because I, I just kind of wandered in there thinking I'd be okay, and next thing I know, batteries ran out and I was stuck with a lighter. And the lack of knowledge to make a torch. Which I clearly could have done, but I didn't. Uh, anyways, hopefully this uh, episode won't go on for too long. I don't actually have a timer or anything to count down how long I'm actually meant to be doing this for. This thing here will actually give me sticks, I believe, instead of logs. Uh, but we'll see. 
in a second if I can actually chop it down here. There we go. In a, oh no, no, it should be sticks. Is it? Hasn't made up its mind yet. <laughs> there we go, sticks. I thought so. There we go. So now we have a whole bunch of sticks here, and we can also get sticks from chopping down these smaller trees. Uh, that's that's usually the uh, better way to get sticks. A lot easier as well. Uh, but to make to get logs, as you would expect, you chop down the bigger trees, uh, like this one here. And we have to also keep an eye out for the savages, which I keep forgetting to do from time to time because I got so used to them. Thanks, bird. I got so used to them not actually spawning that now I have to keep an eye out for them. It's kind of scary. Um, there we go. So we've got the tree falling down now. Should fall down and roll down towards the coast. Hopefully, uh, that's what I wanted to do. Should I fall down? Oh, which way did it fall? Fell uh, this way, I guess. I probably should have watched it. Oh no, there we go. The logs are rolling down there now. That's good. That's like, that's exactly what I wanted uh, to happen. So we grab this, carry two logs at a time, and we can start building our house. Start finishing off our shelter, actually. So e e. We need eight logs now. Was it always eight logs? I guess it was. Yeah. I just don't remember it being eight. Thought I saw someone up there then. So yes, you can die quite easily and quite quickly in this game too. For anyone who didn't know. Um, actually, I'm going to also build a fire here. So there's something there. I keep seeing stuff pop in and pop out. It's kind of scary. Um, okay, so what we'll need to do now is we'll quickly make a fire pit here. Uh, we'll make this right outside our home. Uh, we need a few more sticks and some stones. So we can easily get them uh, whilst we grab the logs as well. So, uh, like I said, sticks and stones are quite easy to find. They're usually everywhere. And you're never going to run out of them. You might run out of logs. I mean, if you play the game long enough, I guess you probably would. Uh, if you if you do play the game to the point where you run out of logs, I congratulate you. Uh, that would be something. Definitely. Would be quite enjoyable to see an island without any... Uh, choose on that. They can also use the AI... Oh, sorry, the savages or mutants. They can also use the trees to climb and jump down on you if you don't actually notice. Uh, I know some actually climb up a bit. You can just be walking around simply and you'll see... Um, just, just someone just jumped out. Actually, well, you won't see it until they jump down in front of your face and scare you. I'm glad I haven't seen them yet, other than before when I saw them at the plane. Uh, come on, tree, jump down. It seems to be very, very difficult to get into the right, to, to cut the, the uh, sweet spot to knock down the tree. Uh, but it seems like I've gotten it now. I think I just need a few more rocks, which I think are over here. Grab you, grab you. Perfect, I need a few more rocks here. Oh, I can't carry anymore, but at least we know where the rocks are. And the logs will be... Whoa, 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 calm down, physics! Uh, that was unex uh, unexpected. Can I get over this, please? Thank you. And now we will be able to finish our house. Hopefully, anyways. Um, do -do -do. One more, and we can fill this in. We need a few more. So there we go. Now we have our house coming along nicely, and the fire is almost done. Uh, we'll quickly run around here, grab some more sticks and some stones, and just be prepared for the worst, actually. Uh, so that I can scare off the mutants with fire as well. However, the effigies do work a little bit better. Are you going home, Steve? See you, Steve. Nice seeing you. I'll see you next time, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. So now the fire is done, the shelter is done, everything is good. We will actually... Can I do that now? I will make myself a log pit, because a lot of people said last time, make yourself a log holder, you'll be a lot better off than what you were uh, to not actually have it. it. Saves losing them as well, which I tended to do before, so having it on... Can I... You know, I don't actually mind this. <laughs> I'm carrying a log around whilst doing whatever else I wanted to do. Good, perfect. What is that over there? Oh, it's a rock. It didn't... That seriously didn't look like a rock. It looked like a dead pig or something from a distance. Um, so we're, now we're going to grab as many sticks as we need. Uh, oh, no, I can't pick it up because I'm carrying the log. Is it? Oh, no. This wasn't looking out the right way. Now, there are certain trees and certain landmark positions that I can't knock down. And you'll see a few of these trees here and there. They're normally a different color and different tone to the... What? Well, did I just step, did I step on something? I think I had that happen to me the other day when I was hanging around this area as well. Oh, right, I found mud. <laughs> um, well, don't drop the log, you idiot. Where's the log gone? 
You know, we need the log. So let me just take this back with me. Now what I've just done is I've actually covered myself in mud, which I think is meant to help you blend in. Uh, well, actually, I'm not too sure what it helps you do. It, it does, I think it makes you less noticeable to them if I was to try to hide away from them. Uh, so, for example, if I was going to like trees or bushes or something, I'd be less noticeable than what I would be normally. I, I don't actually know because I haven't really had much of a chance to use them um, properly. So, haven't seen them yet, <laughs> luckily for me. That's one of the trees, by the way, the dead tree that you see that's kind of like this grayish color. That is one of the trees that... Um, I can't actually knock down, so we'll just get that going away. We'll grab some of the sticks here. Can't actually, there's not too many sticks. So that log's rolling back, so that's fine. That's not a big deal or anything. Stick there. A few sticks here. It's way too many lo uh, way too many uh, rocks. Uh, should be good. I think I should have enough sticks. No, yeah, I need, I need three. It does tell tell you how many resources you need down the bottom for whatever you're building. So. I'm actually almost out of energy. We'll quickly put this in here, we'll grab this log, and then we'll just quickly throw it in. I think you throw it in via G, maybe? No? Maybe E. E? No? I actually don't know how to use these things. I thought you just dropped it in there, and it would normally just go into the thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case, though. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe this is broken, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I, I don't actually know. I assumed it was simply just walking up to it and pressing E or G on it to actually drop the resource into it, but it doesn't seem to be the case right now. Well, that kind of sucks. Maybe it's just this log, maybe there's some- oh my god, seagulls. Seagulls, seriously, I, I told you this is my home. Please, get away, please, get away from my home. Don't want you here, don't want you here, definitely don't want you here. Oh my god, all the feathers. All the feathers. So you better can't actually make seagulls into food. I mean, I, I think that would be nice. Uh, <laughs> considering the, the fact that you, I don't think you'll ever run out of seagulls. Uh, and there we go, now we've got a fire going. So we should be good for a while. E, oh wait, E is to stick more feathers on it to keep the fire alive, and that's all good and well. Come on, please let me put this back in here, I don't want to lose it. I'm going to lose a log, aren't I? I'm kind of glitching up there, oh, hello. Um, no, it seems like I can't actually stick it in there. Oh well, we'll have to use the log for something, uh, so what's the first thing we should start working on now? So let me go here and let me just check what we can make. So we have a, we can make a standing fire that doesn't require any logs though. We might actually start building a defensive wall. Now, the savages, or oh, mutants, I keep confusing them, they're, they're both in the same. They can climb over basic walls, so having a defensive wall, whilst it requires a few more logs, is actually a lot better for protecting your base because they can't actually climb over it. So for example, if I just stick it uh, say here for example, and these seem to be not as long as the other ones either. So if I quickly pick up this log now and stick it in there, there we go, now we have that uh, working. So, seems to be good, hasn't been night time yet. Uh, let me just quickly eat a candy bar so I can get my uh, health back. Oh, actually no, I can just drink a soda. There we go, full energy, everything's good. Slightly hungry, but when next time I run out of energy I should be uh, good enough to eat a snack bar that can fill both energy and hunger. So now, we'll chop down some more trees here, we'll get ourselves some more logs, and we should be good to start making a wall, start finishing up the wall. Actually, that's a stick tree. A stick tree? They're all stick trees, but that's a tree that it gives me only sticks. And this is the one we want. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, I'm not too sure how long I've been playing this game for, actually. It'll tell me here. Uh, 21 minutes apparently I've been playing the game for, so I'll play it for another 10 more minutes or so, because I think I was doing introductory stuff before. Um, no, 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 I am your friend. I am building a house that's to stop you from getting into my friendly house. Stay away, stay away from me, you bastards. Now, even though, oh, well, okay, goodbye. Hopefully they'll go away and they'll stay away for a little while longer now. It seems like if I look away and then look back, I don't know. I was going to say, normally they tend to run towards you when you're not looking at them, but uh... And... Peekaboo! Nope, <laughs> they don't care about me anymore. So I'm going to I'm gonna grab some more logs here. I'm actually going to see if I could use this log holder at some point. Um, some point soon. We'll get that fire still going. They're walking away now. I'll start creeping up the coastline to where I was chopping down that tree. I admit, having the music uh, activate to let me know that they're behind me 
kind of ruins the whole scare of them being there. Admittedly, the music is kind of creepy in itself, but I'd much rather suddenly have an axe to the face or to hear some footprints behind me, and I'm amazed this tree's still standing. Yeah, let me guess, I was only like a few steps away. Yeah, I was only a few hits away. So they've gone back over that direction. Now, I do know a lot of the island uh, from my chance of actually exploring it before, uh, so I do know where some of the caves are and where some of the camps might be, but with the randomized spawn for myself, I feel that they might be random as well. Uh, at least their encampments might be random too, so well, I guess we'll see when we start exploring the island a little bit later on. Oh, I can't actually start... Oh, come on, more of you? Really? Hello? <laughs> going for a walk out into the ocean. I don't know why they're going over there. Maybe there's something over there that interests them. I I, I have no idea. Maybe they're just going to go to the yacht to check it out. Because I did the same thing before. Who knows? Uh, there might be something out there worthwhile for them. And so I'm going to grab these sticks here and the rest of the logs and finish building that one wall I had. That's a very creepy sound that you are making, people. Um, very. Uh, at least I think it was them that was making the sound. I'm not too sure. No, 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 no. That's that's my camp. That's my fire. Yes. Oh, you're not gonna do that, are you? Run away. Get away. That's my home. Yes. Hello. No, I know. I know you guys don't like fire or anything like that. No, 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 no. See, that's what I mean. If you look away, it's like coming towards you. Hi. So, uh, my, my name's Brad, I am a YouTuber, it's a pleasure to meet you, I am, I, I am very sorry I am stuck on your island here, uh, but if you guys would like to casually walk in the opposite direction, that would be very great. So thank you, uh, I'll see you guys next time, are you, are you attracted to me lady, because you're not leaving? Look, I know, I know we have some differences, and uh, I know, I, I don't, I don't, uh, preferably go, like to go naked, I like to wear my clothing, uh, but, uh, you can go with your buddies if you want. They're kind of hanging around over there. What, you want me to go play with you on the beach? Pow, you know, oh, okay, feisty one. Jeez, lady. I was just being nice. Look, if you want to be feisty, I can be feisty too. I will have to say, them tits. Because, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, lady. I'm... I would like to let you go home, but I'm afraid that won't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I had to deal with the the people for a second then. Uh, where did my logs go that I had dropped a few seconds ago when I was getting attacked? I feel I dropped them just over here. Yes, I did drop them just over here. There we go. Good, I got them all again. So they are going to start coming more frequently as the night time uh, comes, and so it'll be, com it'll be very, very shortly. Uh, so once I get this wall done... Uh, hopefully I'll get it done before having to sleep. I don't think sleeping is actually a requirement. It's just more of a thing that the game prefers you to do. Uh, they're over there, so I'm going to go over here and grab some more logs and stuff. Let me chop down this tree just over here, because this one's closest to the coast. And whack. There we go. We should be good to knock it down. I think once you find that sweet spot on a tree that you can hit at without it actually damaging anything... Sorry... That, that's just sound, uh, nonsensical. Uh, once you find that sweet spot on the tree where you actually start to chop at it, I think as long as you stand there and you don't move at all, you'll still be able to knock it down. So where'd that log go? There it is. Got this log, and you're going out to the coast, and you should be rolling down, oh, flipping out everywhere. That works too, I guess. So I'm hoping... Oh, that sunset scared me for a second. I really want to get this stuff done before my character actually gets hungry and starts wanting to sleep. Because, like I said, once your character starts getting sleepy, it's not very good. Uh, but then again, I don't think your character actually needs to sleep, because there is food that replenishes your energy. So it's not like sleep's a real requirement here. Uh, as long as you just have enough food to keep yourself awake, it seems like you're, you could be okay to survive the first night. I do know that when you die the first time, they do take you to their encampment, in which case you can get a flare gun, which I might actually consider dying at some point just so I can actually be taken there. Uh, however, I'm not entirely too sure if I want to do that just yet. I'd rather get myself set up, a nice house and everything, and then I'll be taken in there once I've got enough equipment and everything. That's your head. 
Uh, we've got this wall almost going. Almost done. We need two more logs to do that, and then I'll start f focusing on the other wall sold. So you can't plan it out like, uh, like I've been doing here, actually. Is it automatically snapping on, but it's not snapping on completely? I think it kind of is, actually. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I can You can do them manually like this, like I'm doing here, if you really, really want to. So if I want to just line this up, I can line it up however I want. Press E, and that's done. I can do it again and again, like so. Once until we get ourselves a, a decent, decent house and decent wall. I do apologize for not having built any traps or anything in the first play I did of this. Uh, admittedly, I would have liked to have explored a little bit more with the traps, but having the game crash and all that on me uh, wasn't exactly the uh, best thing. So I'm actually going to. I just realized I don't actually need to have a door to this place because I can just climb over the rocks, and they can't do that. Uh, it seems like I'm the only one capable of actually being able to do that. So there we go, so now we have a kind of a wall set. I don't think they'll be able to get through that. And uh, we can just finish this off then. So, let's uh... They're not anywhere here yet. Though I I do know that the spawning works now, so I do have to be on my toes a little bit more than a little bit more than normal. Let's chop down this tree here and keep an eye out for, for them. They should be walking around with the guy with the light. At least they tend to do that quite a lot. They'll stick in a group. Uh, I did find the sweet spot in the tree, but I lost it. There we go. So chop down this tree, we'll finish off that one wall, and then I will probably leave the video here. And I'll thank you guys for watching, and I'll do that in a second. But yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for showing the support for this series. Uh, you guys definitely liked the first season, and even when I said, uh, you know, 100 likes and you guys get episodes early, I think you guys actually liked doing that, because I was putting out videos more than one a day. Like, I was going one every 20 hours or so. Uh, just because you guys would like the video so quickly. So I might do that again for this series. I'll basically say, you know, if you guys want more episodes quicker, uh, just like the videos, and once I reach 100 likes on the video, the next one will go public. And that seems to work quite well for this series, so I will be implementing it uh, again. Like I said, if not, it'll just be released on a daily basis, one every uh, 24 hours, like I would tend to do with everything else. Uh, so let me just quickly finish off putting these logs over here, and we should be good to go then. Put this in here, and since my character is low on energy and food, we will quickly eat a snack bar that gives me full energy. And my hunger is okay, but it's not the greatest right now. But then we can probably, um, what can we do? So we could eat a snack, but I won't eat snacks just yet, not until I finished uh, doing what I need to do. So, where the rest of the logs go up here? Somewhere, I think I chopped down a tree just over here, didn't I? There you are, there's one. And then the other is... The other one is somewhere around here. That's that's what I hate about sometimes getting these logs. You always lose where they are. Like, even though they glow in the dark like they say they do, they don't... <laughs> they're not that noticeable. Sadly. Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe I see all the other glowy stuff, but not the glowy stuff I want to see. That's definitely not a glowy thing I want to see. That's the guy coming back with... Oh, there's more of you, really? Berries. <laughs> oh, that's not a good berry. Oh, wow, 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 wow. What was that? Friggin' Luigi? I ain't Lu I ain't no Luigi. You see me, didn't you? Yeah, you see me. You definitely see me. You see me a lot. I'm going to go back. No, I can't go back. Uh, yeah, you're surrounding me. That's not a good sign. Going to go back to my camp where there's a fire, where I feel safe. Go, 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 go back to fire, back to camp. Safe, 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 safe. If I climb up here, no, 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 no. Climb up here. They can't get me. <sighs> oh, you, you bastard, you can climb. When can they climb? I think it's because I showed them how to get up here last time. No, 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 no. Come on, up, 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 up. <gasps> no, 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 don't fall down. <laughs> God. Oh, now it's rainy. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to have to end this here. Oh, you see, they were climbing up trees. I, was, I put it at the screen, then, like, like you guys can see that. Uh, but I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see what happens next, uh, leave me 100 likes, and the next video will go public. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.